In this video, we'll be discussing wild turkey nesting and brood rearing habitat with turkey coordinator, Adam Butler. The biggest limiting factor to turkey populations is recruitment of the young. Because of that, nesting habitat and the brood habitat that poults use right after they hatch is the most important habitat component for turkeys across Mississippi. When good nesting and brood habitat are well distributed, it can increase the ability for hens and poults to remain hidden, which will increase nesting success and survival of the young. Most adult turkeys were going to lay a nest, and here in Mississippi that usually happens around mid-April to mid-May. It takes a hen about 10 days to lay her eggs. It takes her about 28 days to incubate those eggs. And then there's about another two weeks that the poults are flightless. So there's almost a 60-day window in there where hens and their young are highly exposed to predation and they have to have really good cover on the ground to remain hidden to avoid those dangers. Nesting hens and young poults are extremely dependent on really specific types of vegetation that offer a lot of cover and concealment. So for nesting hens, that's going to be an understory with a heavy shrub component. And for poults, that's going to be areas with a lot of weeds, a lot of herbaceous cover, uh, any kind of community that's going to provide sort of an umbrella of vegetation over the poults and keep predators like hawks and other things from seeing them easily. And also be full of a lot of bugs because that's what they really, really feed on during that first month of life. Ideally, your nesting cover and your brooding cover should all be arranged close together. That will allow the hen, when she hatches her young, to take them directly into the places that they're going to be bugging and the less distance she has to travel to do that the better the odds of their survival will be. Adult turkeys like really open habitat types, open hardwood bottoms, really open pine stands. They like places where they can use their eyesight to detect predators but those aren't the places where you're going to have nests and broods. So the thicker cover that nesting hens need and that young poults need when they're bugging it's going to be avoided by adult turkeys for most of the year but you still got to have it. And so that makes arrangement of all of these different habitat types really important. The best turkey properties are going to be those sorts of places where you have a lot of different habitat types all intermingled amongst one another. Good brooding habitat usually comes a year or two after some sort of disturbance, whereas nesting habitat follows the third or fourth year after a disturbance. When we talk about disturbance, we're talking about anything that resets plant growth. So that may be a prescribed fire, that may be a timber harvest, operation, that may be creative use of a disc in an old field area, or that may be selective application of herbicide. Early successional habitats don't last very long, and so you need to constantly be doing some sort of habitat management to create a disturbance. Ideally, you should have about one-third of the upland portions of your property disturbed annually. Open-type habitats are going to have more insects than forested-type habitats, so one of the best things you can do if you're managing for turkeys on your property is to create more open Opening. Those are going to be great places for turkeys to hang out, loaf around in, strut during the spring, but most importantly, they're going to offer some of the best brooding habitat you could possibly have. Prescribed burning is probably the most important management practice you can do if you've got a lot of upland habitats on your place. Pine stands, upland hardwood type stands, old field openings. What prescribed fire does is it reduces the dead leaf, leaf litter on the ground and it resets plant growth. Turkeys also really like it right after burn because it opens things up. It allows them to kind of use their eyesight and be in a place that they feel comfortable uh, because they can detect predators. But most importantly, what that burning is going to do is it resets the plant succession that's going to down the road provide the good brood habitat and the nesting cover that their populations absolutely have to have. So if you want better turkey populations, you really need to be focusing on the nesting and brooding habitat. The good news is that actively managing for those habitat types fits in well with a lot of other objectives landowners might have on their property and will pay dividends for your turkey population wise down the road. For help in setting up your property for wild turkeys and other wildlife management guidance, visit our webpage at mdwfp.com slash private lands to request a free site visit with a wildlife biologist.